Hi everyone! Today we're going to take a look at the best graphics card for gaming PC in the market for this year. First we're going to show you our top 10 best picks and we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a graphics card for gaming PC. You can find links to all of the products we've mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started! At the first position of our list, we have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. Okay, right now, the RTX 3080 is rare as pigeon eyelashes, but there is no doubt NVIDIA's new RTX 3080 is the best graphics card today. It represents a huge generational performance boost over the previous RTX 20 series. That's impressive when put up against either the RTX 2080 or 2080 Super. But when you consider that this nominally $699 card cannot just match but massively outperform the $1200 RTX 2080 tie, it really hits home. The thing which really stands out from our testing is the difference it makes to ray tracing performance. The first generation of ray tracing capable cards requires such a huge frame rate sacrifice that most people shied away from turning it on, but that's no longer the case with this generation. NVIDIA has managed this by adding a whole load more CUDA cores to the mix in this 8 GPU and updated Tensor cores, for extra DLSS goodness in 2nd Gen RT cores to make with the Ray Trace pretties. The RTX 3080 may need a fair chunk more power you'll want at least an 850 WPSU and be tricky to get hold of, but this is the most desirable graphics card around today. Which I guess is also why it's so tricky to get hold of. Moving on to the next at number 2 with AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT. As a red team alternative to Nvidia's high-end graphics cards, there have been few finer than the RX 6800 XT. A highly competitive card that comes so close to its rival, with a nominal performance differential to the RTX 3080, is truly an enthusiast card worth consideration for any PC gamer with 4K in their sides. It's a tough call between it and the RTX 3080. But the liar Pipsy and beat to the post with the final touches out RTX. The RX 6800 X key is $50 cheaper, delivers high 4K performance and a hefty VRAM increase over the RTX 3080. However, it's easy to argue that an extra $50 dropped on the RTX 3080 is money well spent, a small price to pay for greater 4K performance, much improved ray tracing, and DLSS. All are available today and with two years worth of developer support in the bank. Yet we're still big fans of what AMD has managed to accomplish with the RX 6800 XT, a return to form for the Radeon technology group that injects some much-needed competition into the GPU market and offers a worthy red team alternative for any high-end gaming PC build. The number 3 position is held by NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. The best value ampere to date, the RTX 3060 Ti is very closely related to the RTX 3070. Both utilize the same GAM104 GPU. The RTX 3060 Ti has fewer SM enabled, with the same AGB of GDDR6 memory across a 256-bit bus. While 17% less capable in core count, the RTX 3060 Ti makes up for it with some judicious GPU boost frequencies. That partially explains why the RTX 3060 Ti can be within 17% to just single digits off the pace of the RTX 3070, despite operating at a silicon disadvantage. Not bad for a $399 card, if you can find it for that price. If you haven't already done the maths, at $399, the RTX 3060 tie is 20% cheaper than the RTX 3070, so performance per dollar is on the up with a diminutive graphics card. That's why we love it so, it's a great GPU for the full stack of resolutions and has decent ray tracing capability to boot, courtesy of second generation RT cores. If the RTX 3080 or RTX 3070 seem out of reach, the RTX 3060 Ti certainly makes for a decent stand-in. Perhaps most impressive of this graphics card is how it stacks up to the 20 series generation. It topples the RTX 2080 Super in nearly every test. Next at number 4 we have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Perhaps the only high-end amper that's anything close to reasonably affordable, the RTX 3070 is also impressive for its ability to match the top string Turing graphics card, the RTX 2080 Ti, for less than half of its price tag. At $499, it's still a significant sum by any means we're talking next-gen console equivalent pricing here but it's hardly an exorbitant sum when compared to PC gaming's top graphics silicon today. In return, you're gifted a 4K-capable graphics card that doesn't require too much fiddling to reach playable, if not high, frame rates. 
and it'll absolutely smash it at 1,440. No question about that. Its gaming performance credentials are undoubtedly impressive. But what makes the RTX 3070R pick for the sensible PC gaming connoisseur is the entire NVIDIA ecosystem underlying the RTX stack today. DLSS is a neat trick for improving performance, with only a nominal loss in clarity, and other features such as broadcast and reflex go a long way to sweetening the deal. The number 5 position is held by AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. The RTX 3090 may have sat unchallenged at the top runs of graphics performance at launch, but it wouldn't be long until AMD rustled together a challenger in the RX 6900 XT, or Big Navi. The RX 6900 XT hopes to knock Ampere's finest from its perch on high and send it spiraling back down to Earth. And it gets kind of close, too, with 4K performance a little off the pace of the RTX 3090 and all for one third off the asking price. For that reason, it's simply the better buy for any PC gamer without any ulterior motives of the Pro Creator variety. But there's a reason it's not number one in our graphics card guide today, and that's simply due to the fact it's not that much better than an RTX 3080, and sometimes not at all. It's another $300 on top of the RTX 3080's price tag, and you'd hope for higher performance in both rasterized and ray tracing workloads. Yet, inevitably it's ray tracing acceleration lags behind the competition. But the RX 6900 XT does come with assurances that the RTX 3080 can't make, such as its 16 GB of GDDR6 memory, which is a whole 6 GB greater than the 10 GB of faster GDDR6X memory on the green team card. With that in mind, for raw gaming alone, the RX 6900 XT is a cheaper alternative to the RTX 3090 is still a victim to its own extreme price tag. The number 6 position is dominated by NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. The RTX 3080 Ti isn't the mightiest GeForce graphics card that NVIDIA makes. That accolade goes to the RTX 3090, by a hair, and will undoubtedly be claimed by the RTX 3090 Ti once that arrives. But when all is said and benchmark, it is the uber high-end RTX 3080 Ti that we'd recommend to any PC gamer looking to go all out on their next build. With performance close to the RTX 3090 at 4K, the RTX 3080 Ti is as much a gaming graphics card as its progenitor. With a vast bounty of cute cores and speedy GDDR6X memory, this card demolishes any game you can throw at it with relative ease. It's also more than capable of real-time ray tracing, courtesy of ADRT cores. The reason we don't rate this card higher up in our list of the best graphics cards, however, is down to its price. Launching at $1,200, it's only a stone's throw away from the $1,499 RTX 3090. Massively inflated pricing, or lack of stock, notwithstanding. Moving on to the next at number 7 with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 12GB. The decision to load the RTX 3060 with 12GB of GDDR6 memory appeared a strange one at first, and in many ways it still is. It's more memory than the RTX 3080, after all, albeit it's lower stuff, and it tops out the RTX 3060 Ti 2. However, the RTX 3060 wields it well, managing to dispatch the RTX 2060 by a large margin in most games, and by enough of a gap in the rest to make it worthwhile. And we're not going to turn our noses up at 12GB of VRAM when 6GB is the likely alternative. With a decent generation-on-generation generation improvement and plenty of speed at 1080 and 1440, the RTX 3060 12GB is a graphics card easily argued for. It's also nominally cheaper than the RTX 2060 was on launch day, though it's not so easy to find it as a discrete number nowadays. That said, this card often crops up within pre-built gaming PC, and for a decent price all-inclusive too. The number 8 position is held by NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. There is no graphics card under $300 that we would recommend bar the GeForce RTX 3050. Though it didn't take much to defeat AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT. The RTX 3050 is still a difficult GPU to recommend heartily, however, as it's neither readily available or as cheap as it should be. The RTX 3050 is a much smaller GPU than the RTX 3060 12GB, and like any good PC gamer we would recommend the larger chip. That said, if you can't stretch your budget any further, the RTX 3050 will deliver GTX 1660 type performance with the benefit of DLSS. There's also support for ray tracing with the RTX 3050, though its weak hard innards aren't going to stand for much of that. As the basis of a pre-built gaming PC, 
The RTX 3050 is the better option of what's out there on a tight budget. That said, you can find really good RTX 3060 12GB PC deals out there fairly regularly, and with a little patience you may be able to grab a much more capable graphics card. Next at number 9 we have Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3090. For some, the best card is the fastest card pricing be Dan. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 caters to this category of user. At more than double the official price of the RTX 3080, performance is only moderately better, 10-15% in most workloads. It's basically a replacement for the Titan RTX, at a still extreme price. Which is fine if that's what you're after the 12GB RTX 3080 tie doesn't reduce the price enough to shake things up. The RTX 3090 is likely to reign as NVIDIA's top GPU until, unless, the RTX 3090 tie rise. It sports nearly a complete GA102 chip, based off the Ampere architecture, so there's not really room for a new Titan card. NVIDIA has said as much as well that the 3090 brings Titan class performance and features, specifically the 24GB VRAM into the GeForce brand. If you simply must have the fastest graphics card available, that's the RTX 3090. Current online prices tend to be more than $2,000, however, and the average eBay price last month was over $2,300, so be prepared to pay dearly for the privilege. The GeForce RTX 3090 tie will launch at the end of this month, however, and should lay claim to the performance crown thanks to higher clocks and more GPU cores. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Radeon RX 6700 XT. Start with the Navi 21 GPU and then cut down the various functional units to create a smaller die that can sell at lower prices and you have AMD Navi 22 and the RX 6700 XT. It has the same number of GPU cores as the previous generation RX 5700 XT, but significantly higher clock speeds and more cache give it about a 25% boost of performance and higher settings and resolutions, at least. And the RX 6700 XT hits some of the highest clock speeds we've ever seen on a GPU, boosting at 2.5 GHz and more during gaming sessions and that's at stock on the reference card. With some tuning and overclocking, we were able to hit speeds of 2.7 2.8 GHz still without cooking the GPU. That's very impressive, though we're a bit sad that it only has 2,560 GPU cores. The real issue is the same as with everything else. Like other GPU, the RX 6700 XT immediately sells out, even at radically inflated prices. Currently, the card goes for around $775 on eBay. That's better than both the 3060 tie and 3070, at least but far more than we recommend paying for what should nominally be a $500 high-end offering. That's all for today. We upload computer and accessories product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.